Hi, it's me again. How have you been? <laughs> Hi, this is Adrian. Welcome back to A Speaks. So for this week's episode, medyo hindi naman obvious, di ba? I'm just wearing white because we're gonna talk about love. And what do we want? Pure love. That's why I'm wearing white. So, you guys ready? Let's talk about love. <laughs> Kiss me out of the bearded barley, nightly. This is the green, green grass. Swing, swing, swing the spinning. Alam mo, when we talk about love, it's, you know, love is very subjective. Uh, people would have uh, different definitions of love and how to love, you know, and how they actually. Um, make their partner feel loved or the one they're courting feel loved, you know. Kaya, I will not define love just as it is. Or like, I won't define love like as if I'm the only one who can define love. You know what I mean? Instead, uh, I'll be defining love in my own perspective. Love is very diverse. Uh, love makes you feel like something you haven't felt in a very long time. You don't really need a reason to love someone. Sometimes, nagmamahal tayo ng isang tao. We just love someone because we love them and we don't even know the reason, di ba? Kasi ang pangit naman nung you always find a reason to love someone. You love someone because he or she is beautiful, handsome. You love someone because maganda yung katawan niya. He or she has a good body. Pero pag, pag mawala na ba yung mga reason nyo kung bakit minahal niya yung tao... Ibig sabihin ba, hindi niyo na rin siya mahal? When you lose every single reason why you love that person, does that mean you don't love the person anymore? Does it mean you have to find another? Di ba, yung iba nga sinasabi nila, pag tinatanong ka nila, bakit mo mahal si Gento? Tapos ang sasagot nila ng iba, ewan ko, hindi ko din alam. Because Why? You don't need a reason to love someone. But definitely, you will know kung para sa'yo yung tao. I believe in that. Okay, so I actually have a group of friends. The one that I mentioned on my first episode. I asked the Randomatic channel uh, where my friends and I talk on a daily basis and where you get unsolicited updates from me. So I asked them kung ano yung mga gusto nilang malaman about love. And then... Here's this question, masakit ba maglove? Well, if I'm going to answer that, honestly, pain and love lagi yung magkadikit. They always come together. And I think it's not love when there's no pain. You know? Loving someone or giving love to other people sometimes can actually be really painful. Most when you have to love someone from afar, most when it's a forbidden love, marami pa. So if the question is, masakit ba maglove? It is. Okay, so we have another question. Worth it pa ba paglaban kung ikaw na lang ang lumalaban? Kung isa na lang lumalaban sa relationship? I think, uh, I think hindi na. Kasi, alam mo yun, It takes two to tango, di ba? Lagi nga nilang sinasabi, it takes two to tango. So I would say, hindi na siya worth it. And hindi ka na mahal, feeling ko pag ganun, hindi na lumalaban yung isa. Hindi ka na mahal nung tao eh. So kung hindi, pa siya, kung hindi na siya lumalaban, what's the sense of fighting, di ba? Huwag na tayong, let's not romanticize love na, or like one-sided love na kapag nilalaban mo pa, may chance pa rin na bumalik. Well, in some cases, oo, sige, bumabalik sila. Pero in reality, hindi. Kasi kaya nga sila bumibitaw kasi hindi na nila gusto. So ano yung paglalaban mo? Hanggang saan ka lalaban? Hanggang kailan ka lalaban? Hanggang maapa ka na yung pride mo? Hanggang mawalan ka na ng self-worth? You are way more than that. Kaya dapat hindi ka nagsiseta sa ganyan. So this question is, is it worth it to risk your friendship for a relationship? Well, you know what? First thing, there's no guarantee. But if it bugs you, then I highly 
suggest na alam mo yun, sabihin mo. Kasi life is just too short. And for you to not tell your friend or someone how you feel about them, lalo na if wala naman kayong masamang intention, why not tell the person, di ba? Kung wala kang masamang intention, you will not be afraid. You will not be scared to say that or to tell someone how you really feel about them. Uh, there's another question. It feel good. This is my favorite question. Uh, sa lahat. Um, what is the most unexpected lesson that you've learned about love? You know, before I really thought that when you love someone, you have to stay together. That when you love someone, you have to push things. That when you love someone, you have to end up together. But in the case of truly loving someone, sometimes, or maybe the lesson that I've learned that is very unexpected is when you truly love someone, you can really set them free. Kahit gano mo pa yan kamahal, kahit araw-araw mo pa yan sinusundo, kahit halos ibigay mo na lahat, kahit alagaan mo yan every day, kapag umayaw na, sometimes, kahit sobrang mahal mo, apakawalan mo. If the happiness of the other party, or your partner, or your ex, is or doesn't include you anymore, then let go. I know it's hard, but definitely, as I said on my first episode, there are things that you cannot control. And you don't have to make it a big problem. I know it's going to be really painful, because it is. But... When you love someone, he will just do whatever it takes to make the person happy. Even if it means letting them go. How do I know if he or she is the one? Ah, that's quite hard. But honestly, if you're going to ask me, based on my experience, I think when a person makes you feel like you're at your best every time. And uh, yo, kasi masabihan na obsessed eh. <laughs> But you know sometimes when uh, love is overflowing, I think that's when you know na he or she is the one. The question goes Okay. Um, you know, fear is a main ingredient to why people don't actually take the risk. But, you know, as for me, I have this fear, which I cannot say. Uh, I was judged. Uh, my character was judged by, by, uh, by someone who uh, barely even know me. After after the judgment and after everything, pakiramdam ko ayoko na ulit. Kasi unfair eh. Maybe I cannot heal from that. Or maybe I haven't really healed from that. Just to wrap these things up, you know, when you truly love someone, go ahead, show them. Always remember that when you are a pitcher full of water, you cannot pour everything that is in you into a cup. You have to find another pitcher for you to fill. A pitcher and a cup, they don't match. And when you love, make sure na isa lang. So kiss me.